Hello, welcome to What Time Watch Time. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on a comparison between the Tavis TA01A and the winner Submariner. Uh, both of these obviously Submariner watches, and I got a feeling that a lot of people will probably be looking at both of these watches and trying to work out which one they want to buy. These are both very affordable um, Submariner homage, I suppose, in a way, watches. Um, so I'm going to just go over the comparison, what's different, what's the same, um, and which one, you know, maybe you want to be looking at buying. Um, so obviously style-wise, they are very similar. Both got 60-click um, dials on them. The dial on the winner is not particularly well done. As you can see, the, the writing there is a bit sort of... Uh, distorted smudgy almost whereas the Tavis is a lot, lot clearer and a lot nicer looking these obviously are only just printed on these aren't um, like these are, they're not actually engraved or anything like that um, the magnifier on both unfortunately both of mine are slightly off of the three o'clock mark but the Tavis is a lot better um, I don't know if you can see on the winner but it's actually a slant yeah, you might be able to see that it's not quite level either. So it's slightly down and it's like slightly on a slant, whereas this one is only just slightly down, but it's not actually on a slant, so it's um it's not too bad. Bracelet wise, on you know, on the bands, the straps themselves, nice solid links on the uh Tavis, and it's got a brushed outer polished inner, and on the winner, uh unfortunately the winner has got a uh, folded bracelet there we go folded bracelet uh, and it's polished on the outside and brushed on the inside now I personally prefer the brushed on the inside uh, sorry brushed on the outside look I think that looks a lot more um, authentic and a little bit less cheap I feel this one looks a lot cheaper class wise this has got a dual button um, I will actually say the clasp on the winner is a lot nicer than the Tavis, but that might just be my one. Um, I find this one is a little bit, you sort of have to wiggle it to click it in. Both have micro adjustment. This one only has two points of micro adjustment, so I've got this on the biggest setting at the moment. Uh, this one again is on the bigger setting. Um, <clears throat> on the bigger? Yeah. Yeah, bigger setting. Uh, but this has got three micro adjustments, whereas I say this has only got two. Um, not a major issue though really links wise this one to get the links in and out you know when you have to resize it is a pain in the ass. <laughs> this was a joy <laughs> it was a lot nicer to uh, to actually resize mainly because of the uh, folded uh, links when you're knocking these pins back in um, they're trying to constantly basically come apart um, so but again that's what you get with folded links I, I i prefer obviously like most people probably do a nice solid link so that is definitely one point to the tavisa on that one crowns the crown on the tavisa has got a nice um molded sort of tavisa logo on there if we actually put it out the right way um roughly there we go yeah so that's got a tavisa logo if you can see that uh the crown on the winner is just plain nothing you can just see my face sorry about that <laughs> on the back both come with display case backs um, the winner oops, smash my watch up mind. Right, uh, the winner very basic uh, it does work he says it's not actually, oh there we go it is moving yeah so um, but there's no design to it it's just a basic sort of automatic movement the Tavis has a Slightly designed flywheel. If I can actually get the option to play the game with the logo on and everything else. On the back here of the Tavis, it stays stainless steel. It's got its model number on there. It's got its water resistance rating. Um, and if it, and it actually says Tavis on there as well at the top. So if you can see that, if I do that, you can see it a little bit better. Uh, on the back of the winner, though, nothing. Just nothing. <laughs> Both have. Uh, they're not, yeah, neither of these have got um, solid end links, unfortunately, but you wouldn't expect that for the money. The movements in these, I'm going to say they're probably the same movement. 
is my guess. Um, let's have a look at these. Very similar movement, if not the same. Slightly different design, but they're going to be both Chinese movements. Um, so, you know, you, they're going to be about the same quality wise. The end links here, I will say, I prefer this look here. If you see this point here where the actual uh, end link is, whereas on the winner, it's got this, like, this part here is just. It looks horrible on the wrist, you know, it looks cheaper because of this. Whereas when you've got a solid link there, it just looks a lot more high quality, um, to be honest with you. Uh, size wise, the Tavis comes in at 46, including the crown in its diameter, 41 without the crown. The winner comes in at 38 without the crown and 43, so slightly smaller. Lug to lug, the uh, Tavis comes in at 52. And the winner comes in at 46, so there's quite a big difference there, as you can probably see. Um, Depth-wise, the Tavis is 14 mil, and the winner is 12 mil, so there's a two mil difference on there as well. Um, the straps, this is uh, comes in at 20 mil. Both of them start at 20 mil, and then the Tavis tapers down to 16 and the uh, winner tapers down to 18 mil. So they both start the same, but they, the Tavis does have a bit more of a taper. Um, you might be able to know, it's probably not two mil on a camera. Um, but again, you can see there, like the, the strap itself, this one looks a lot high quality just because of the polishing. I think this looks a lot nicer. Uh, the actual second hand movement, pretty much the same. There's no real difference on there. If anything, maybe the Tavis looks a little bit nicer on the movement. I like the fact it's got 100 foot, 30 meters, and all this written on here, whereas the winner just has the winner logo and automatic on. The sunburst is better on the winner. It's definitely got that sunburst dial, which is quite nice. But the color, this is too, too light. Uh, I want a darker green, uh, whereas this one looks lovely in black. I'm actually going to probably get another one of these in blue, or if I can find one, the Pepsi with a blue and red dial. Really, really want one of them. So overall, um, I would definitely give it to the Tavis. Uh, the Tavis cost me £18. The winner cost me £11, both delivered. And for the, the little bit of difference, £7, holy crap. I mean, <laughs> the difference is... <laughs> If I paid 40 quid for this watch, I would not be upset. If I paid 40 quid for this, I'd be upset. Um, this is a lovely, lovely watch for the money. Um, really, really, really good. Um, I would definitely, if you're looking at getting one of these, go for the Tavis. Spend a little bit. I mean, we're not talking a lot of money. We're not talking, we're talking a little bit of money, seven to 10 pound probably. Get this with Tavis. The winner, don't pay any more than 11, 12 pound for. Just don't. It's. It's not worth it, um, but the Tavis, yes, definitely yes, it's, it's definitely uh, a lot better. But yep, yeah, that's my comparison video. I hope that helps some people who are looking at these watches um, and trying to work out which one to go for. Um, maybe you prefer the smaller size. Um, maybe you're not too worried. Maybe this is just going to be a beater watch, so you, you, know, you don't care if it gets a little bit beaten up and you want to spend as little as possible. Then yeah, this one. But if you want something a little bit smarter looking, maybe a little bit more durable, then I would go for the Tavis personally. I hope that helps some people out there, and I'll see you in the next video.